Okay, I'm back. I cleaned everything up a little bit. I'm reheating the plastic right now, just about done with that. Uh, I've added seven drops of the MF June Bug to the uh, top color. And uh, we're gonna see how that changes it a little bit. I didn't want to overdo it, but the MF is pretty thin colored compared to some others. And uh, so, you know, seven drops sounds like a lot, but not necessarily, you know, like if you use the do it plastic, the color, you know, that uh, 2X stuff is really thick. So you can see a little bit change there, a little bit change, no change in this one, obviously. Let's see where we are temperature wise. 336. Yeah, we're going to pop those in just a touch more. They're just on the low end of where I want to shoot, especially when I'm using the dual injector. So we'll give them another 20 seconds. They'll come out ready to go. I'm only going to shoot the injection molds. I'm not going to worry about the hand pour. Uh, running low. Uh, put some extra, an extra clamp on here. So uh, here again, we're going to do top on this side and uh, top over here. Top on the left. Okay. That out. That out. Give that a little bit of stir. Give that a little bit of a stir. Be careful with this one. Just a little. swim baits with this color right here. So I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Let me put that there. Just this outer uh, top color I want to make so you can see how they come out. There we go. So, we got all that done. We'll open these up, see how they do, and go from 
there. I mean, that's a pretty good color on its own. Here again, let's see what they look like in here. sure that seven drops just changed things a whole lot but uh, you know we put it in take a look compare go from there so that back together cleaned up and there this one Put it back in that cup. It's not the right color. Be okay. Yeah, I think it's a little bit darker than before. We'll get one of the other ones over here in a minute. Almost it looks like a blue going through there. When you look at it against the aluminum. But uh, that's kind of different. But I think that reflex has a little bit of blue tint to it. So, definitely, yeah, I think that top is a little bit darker than it was before. You can definitely see a little bit of difference in there. That one's pretty good right there. Let's get one of the other ones pulled back over here just for comparison. I think the blue tint came out a little better with the uh, with the liquid, but uh, not a whole lot of difference. So, okay, so got some base there, and uh, let's go ahead and open these other ones. Right, let's put this back together. I'm getting low on both colors. But I've got a lot of the, you know, the reserve things left over here. So I think what I'm going to do is when I get through with all this, I'm going to uh, put it all together and make one color. So we'll see how that comes out instead of a two color. Mix both of them together, kind of do a little semi-remelt of what we got left over. That way we can try to utilize as much of it as we can. Oh yeah, good looking bait. Nothing wrong with that at all. A little bit of a shade difference. Here again, I was hoping for something a little more stark. But I guess I could have made the, the bottom a little bit lighter, put half as much powder in, but uh, nothing wrong with those. Nothing at all. Okay. That's the whole thing about this. It's, it's really hard to make a mistake. It just may not come out the way you want it, but it does come out. And truthfully, if you don't like it, throw it back in a pot and do it over again. A little warm there, huh? Oh yeah. Nothing wrong with those. Didn't get any flashing this time. Didn't over squeeze the uh, push down on the injector, especially with that dual injector. You can put a lot of force on there. Extra clamp help. Like I said, these are awesome little baits, man. They catch just about anything. Just vary the color or small. Uh, 16th, 8th ounce small jig head, you know, panfish kind of thing. Uh, nice little bait. Nice little bait. Very good. Okay. I'm going to get things set up for one more round. And uh, we'll meet you back here when we get ready to do that. Thanks. Okay, we're back for round three. Round three is I took all my scrap. I took the remaining little bits of both colors that I had left over. And I threw them all in one pot. And, 
doing the last little reheat here. And then we're gonna inject that just single color, just to get rid of the plastic basically and see how it comes out. Like I said, I think the colors are similar. I think mixing them is not gonna be a big deal. We may even do some hand pours there. Kind of left over. Maybe I'll do a four inch hand pour and a five inch. We'll see how much we've got left. Just to play around there. Okay, try to use as much of this as I can. Uh, I don't like wasting stuff. And you get these little tag ends, and in my experience, you mix all the tag ends together, you get poop. You get a poop colored bait, basically. So we'll see how this goes. Careful with these down here on these clamps. You don't really like to take a lot of pressure. Hmm, may not have got that one full. that four inch swim bait down there at the end is going to make it. Yeah, I got a feeling that ain't going to happen. So I'm going to heat the rest of this up here. And I'll tell you what, we'll open the molds and we'll heat it up and then I'll do some hand pours. We'll reheat it off with the hand pours. I'll wait and get to out of here, probably there, maybe re-inject that one and all that. But I think you get the idea. Try to use them. I'm trying to use as much of the plastic as I can, even though I did the dual colors. I just mixed them all together. I came up with one uh, mixture of a color to do some more baits with. I'll shoot these, may reshoot this one later uh, with this, and then finish out with the hand pour. Uh, that way, using the hand pour, I can utilize just absolutely all of my plastic between the injection and the hand pour. Uh, and that way I don't waste any and I don't end up with a lot of scrap that I have to deal with later. Okay? Well, I'm going to finish this up off camera and uh, we'll talk to you all next time with the next color. Thanks. Bye.